okay now we will be discussing uh, in this discussion about how to use the delegation event model so practically i'll be implementing one program now we'll be developing one program that is basically the delegation event model is uh, known in such a way that there are three main entities the source of the event the event what it is generating and the corresponding listeners now the how how do we use or implement the delegation event model it's very simple we have to follow two steps what is the first step we have to implement the appropriate interface in the listener so that it will receive the type of event desired that means the interface must be given for the listener so what is the first step the first step to be implemented for dealing with the delegation event model is you must write the corresponding listener this is the listener first implement this interface interface which can receive the events which can receive the events from whom from this particular source from this particular source so this is what we should do the first step is you implement the interface implement the appropriate interface to receive the type of event second one implement the code to register and unregister means there must be code written so that the second step is write the code so that this listener can register this listener can register first thing and the second thing is deregister to implement these two things you have to write the code so how can we use the delegation event model there are two steps in this one so first step is implement or write the interface which will allow the listener to receive the events from the source second one is write the code or function or method write the code or method or function so that this listener can register to the source and deregister from the source because we know that if a listener is registered with the source then only it can receive the events from the source so these are the two steps what we have to do now basically with, uh, we can provide input or talk to the uh, graphical user interface or the program by using two main entities either by using mouse or the keyboard so these are the two main entities so the two commonly used event generators are the mouse and the keyboard these are the only frequently used devices which we use for generating events so now let us see how do we handle the mouse events for handling the mouse event you have to implement the two listeners what are the two listeners that you have studied just now mouse listener interface and the mouse motion listener interface and if you want you can also go for mouse wheel listener so if you implement these three listeners that means methods provided by these, these these three listeners we have discussed those methods now now practically we are trying to implement them we have to implement these three listeners now let us study the code i'll take this program this is the program which will allow us to implement or to handle the events generated by the mouse to handle the event generated by the mouse so i have taken that particular program here this is the first graphical user interface program what we are studying which will allow us to take the inputs from the input device called mouse it is allowing us to take the input from the input device and these are all the we are importing necessary packages and this particular program is dependent on the fundamental of applets in your earlier scheme the applet syllabus was there now it is not there so applets chapter is being skipped and i am directly going with the uh, mouse handling uh, that is event handling mechanism but still in the next class uh, i'll just cover this applet fundamentals now only i'll be covering the briefly what basically is an applet so that uh, this is nothing but applet only specifically there is one separate chapter for studying the basics of applet even if we don't study that you can understand this because uh, that is also a java program only applet is also a java program and this is what is the applet this is what is the applet so we are going to create one applet now 
Now, what this code indicates here is, as you can see, this is the code which is written in the comment, multi-line comment, starting from slash star and ending at star slash. So what this multi-line comment indicates, if you are writing it in the source file or in the applet or in a Java program, this is the Java program only. If you write multi-line comment by using this tag, this is what is HTML tag or applet tag. So a tag will always, applet tag will always begin with left angle bracket applet. You can write all the definitions for the applet. Then you can close with slash applet. So I'm just briefly explaining the fundamentals of the applet. Applet tag will begin with the angle bracket applet. Then you can write different implementations in that one. Then it will end with slash applet. Now what this indicates here is, whenever this Java program is executed, what it tells here is, what this applet is telling here is, whenever we execute this Java program, whenever we execute this Java program, this particular class should be executed or this particular bytecode should be executed. This particular bytecode should be executed. That means code. What you can see here is code. Whenever you run the uh, program, this applet tag indicates that the code which has to be executed is this bytecode. That is mouse events bytecode. And what this indicates here is this is the applet area in terms of pixels. That is, this is what is the applet area. Whenever you create the Graphical user interface by using applet. This is what is the applet area. What is the area? It is having 300 pixels of width and 100 pixels of height. I'll show you after giving the demonstration how actually it looks like. Now coming to next line. What it says here is we are trying to write a class called mouse event which is extending applet. So whatever graphical user interfaces we create by using applets, they all must be subclasses of the superclass called applet. So there is one superclass called applet and all the GUIs will inherit that particular applet. That means all the applets what we create, all the applets what we create must be subclass of that particular superclass called applet. Because why we have to extend the applet here is in our source file, we are going to create the applet. This is what is the applet which is being created. So this is what is the applet code which is being executed. That's why we have to inherit all the fundamental properties from the applet. All the fundamental properties from the applet. And that's why the Applet package is also being imported or included in the source file. Java package and applet sub package and dot star indicates include all the methods and interfaces in that particular applet sub package. After, along with extend means it is inheriting. Mouse event is a class which is inheriting all the properties from the mouse. Mouse event is a class which is inheriting all the properties from the mouse. Right? After, if, after it is it is inheriting, along with that, it is implementing two interfaces. What are the two interfaces? Mouse listener interface and mouse motion listener interface. Why? Because these two are the interfaces with which we can handle these two uh, events of the, the mouse. If you implement a mouse listener, then we can uh, monitor the clicking of mouse and all left click right click and all if you implement this interface mouse motion listener interface then we can uh, monitor the movement of mouse like moving of the mouse and dragging of the mouse that's why we have to implement these two uh, the mouse event class should implement these two interfaces and we'll be studying about uh, interfaces packages and interfaces in detail in the fourth module about packages and interfaces, we'll be studying in detail in the fourth module. Now, within the method, this is one string message. Simply a string object has been declared, nothing is there in that one. 
and mouse x is an integer variable which will hold the x coordinate of the mouse mouse y is an integer variable which holds the y coordinate of the mouse because whenever you are moving the mouse onto the window it will be having some x coordinate value and y coordinate value we are assuming that x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate is 0 in the beginning and every applet has some set of methods initialization is the fun one among them that is init is a method like how we create the we call the constructor whenever an object gets created a constructor of a, a class gets called immediately whenever you create the object what is the responsibility of constructor it has to initialize the object same way whenever we create an applet or whenever we run an applet whenever we run an applet initialization is the first method which will get called but before this there are two more methods that is start okay start is the one method start and immediately once the uh, execution of applet gets start then initialization method will be called after some more methods there is one more method called paint in the applet then stop method will be called so these are the fundamental methods which are inbuilt in each and every applet now among these we are invoking initialization method first so what it will do in the initialization part it is adding those two methods what are the methods add mouse listener method and add mouse motion listener method to this particular object which object whatever object whatever applet we have created because this applet is responsible for managing the mouse movement and mouse dragging so we have to include these two methods next method in the applet what we are going to develop is mouse clicked method mouse clicked method is responsible for handling the click of a mouse and it will receive a parameter called mouse event mouse event is an object which is containing the details of the mouse click and whenever you are going to click a mouse we are displaying a message for the user that is you are intimating to the user saying that you have clicked the mouse how we are implementing at the x coordinate value 0 at the y coordinate value 10 we are displaying a message what is that mouse clicked mouse clicked that means at the x coordinate 0 and x coordinate 10 we are displaying a message called mouse clicked so in the applet window, whatever we should discuss now, x coordinate and y coordinate uh, is located at some location. Starting from this location, it will display a message like this. That is, mouse is clicked. It will be clear when I give the demonstration. And there is one more method called repaint. As I said here, applet will have a method called paint. Applet will have a method called paint. What is the responsibility of the paint? This is an applet. This is an applet. It will have a method called paint. What is the responsibility of the paint method here is the paint will display the output. Whatever its window is redisplayed. That means like how you use uh, printf to display output onto the screen in case of C. C out to display. System dot out dot print and then to display output onto the screen by using Java. Same way in the applet, it has one specific method called paint. Why the paint method is used? Paint method is used to display the graphical output onto the screen. Graphical output of the applet. To display the graphical output of the applet on the screen this is why the paint method is used if you call the paint method whatever is possible output of the applet that will be displayed and repaint repaint method is called whenever you want to redisplay the window so this repaint in turn will call the paint method repaint will call the paint method so whenever paint method is called what it does presently what is the output of the applet that will be displayed on the screen so I'll give the demonstration, things will be clear. Just have patience because everything is uh, theoretical unless I show the demonstration. 
mouse entered so are we connected till now is there any connection issue are we getting the audio and video properly am i audible are you following the concepts and someone respond yes sir okay right the second type of method here is mouse entered mouse entered so this method is responsible for monitoring the entry and exit of the mouse specifically it is monitoring only entry of the mouse that means if you consider this as the appellate display area now this is the location of the mouse outside the appellate display area this is what is the display area this is what is display area of the mouse now from the outside if i enter inside now i am within this the display area now this method gets activated what this method does here is it will display a message saying that mouse has entered at which location at x coordinate 0 and y coordinate 10 display the message what message it will display it will display simply message saying that mouse has entered and how it will display it will be displayed by calling the repaint method whenever you call the repaint method paint method will be called paint method what it does i'll discuss later that is at the bottom the paint method is there so here also we are calling the paint method what uh, paint uh, repaint does repaint will call the paint and paint method will display the graphical display of the applet this is mouse ent entered similarly method called mouse exited what it is responsible for it is responsible for handling the event called mouse exited that is from the display area your mouse is present here when your mouse moves outside the display area then a message will be displayed here saying that mouse has moved out of the display area then repaint method will be called to display that similarly whenever a button is pressed whenever a button is pressed where the button is pressed just get the x coordinate value and y coordinate value store it in the variables x and y then give a message saying that down here you can give any other message here simply a uh, word is being displayed saying that mouse is down or mouse is clicked and that will be displayed by calling the repaint method if you can see all the method definitions are very same only minor changes are there mouse pressed after pressing the mouse we will be releasing the mouse so this is the method responsible for that where whenever you release the mouse get the coordinate values x and y values then display message saying that up that means mouse is down and mouse is up then display that by calling the repaint method similarly this is the method which is responsible for handling the dragging of the mouse as i said the difference between dragging and moving is while dragging we will click the button while moving we will not click the button so it will show 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 status it will show the display in the status bar what it will do it will display message saying that dragging the mouse at this coordinate and this coordinate real time it will display right similarly mouse moved method what it will do it will display saying that in the status bar moving the mouse at this coordinate x and this coordinate y so that will be displayed and this is what is the paint method as i was telling paint is the method what it will do it is having one object it will take a parameter called graphics graphical object called g and g object has an method called draw string what it does draw string means it will display a message or string message whatever message you are passing to it as a parameter whatever msg you are passing that where it will display at the this x coordinate value and at this y coordinate value for example let us say that from here okay from here we are calling the repaint method repaint method what it will do it will call the paint method it is calling the paint method now what are the parameters are which are being passed here the x coordinate value is 0 the y coordinate value is 10 what is the message message is mouse exited so now when you go to the temp paint definition whenever you call the repaint method nothing but we are it is understood that we are calling we are passing this object as a parameter to the paint method and this paint method has a method called draw string 
it will display a message so what message was passed as a parameter from here we have passed a message called mouse exited we have passed a message called what was the message here mouse exited will be printed where at the x coordinate value 0 where at the y coordinate value 10 so what this basically paint is responsible for if you want to display the output of the applet then paint method will be called and there is one specific method responsible for displaying the string what is that draw string is the method which is a method present in the object g that object g is of type graphic that means for dealing with graphical user interfaces right so i'll just show the execution and we'll come back to program again the things will be clear so this is what is the program whatever i have explained we will pro we will compile the applet in the same way like how we compile the java program java c mouse events dot java because it is also a java program only now for executing the applet we will use applet viewer method called there is an executable file called applet viewer then we will give the mouse event dot java source file so remember we will not give the object only we are giving the entire java source file so here applet viewer will use and we will run it now as you can see this is what is the applet what we have created i will ex i'll maximize this what we have done applet viewer is the entity which is being used to execute this applet this is the first graphical user interface what we have created and what is the name being used this default name is applet right this is what uh, we can do we have created one window we can minimize this we can maximize this you can enlarge the screen you can resize the screen that is the first graphical user interface when you close this it will get terminated now this what i'll do i'll take it here to the, onto the program screen for explanation purpose right mouse clicked for example mouse clicked i'll take it here see here uh, i'm just moving the mouse here the very last coordinates are displayed here when i bring back the mouse here you can change you can look at this message here it is getting changed i think i cannot increase this i cannot zoom it and show it no i cannot zoom it hope, hope you can see this can you see the change in the text here this is the applet display area and this mouse is moving outside this so this method is responsible for handling mouse clicked i will uh, from outside from this black region i will bring in the mouse into the white region whenever i bring in you can see the message here it is getting changing it is getting changed now it is mouse exited now when i bring in it will change to mouse entered that means the corresponding method is getting called whenever mouse enters into the applet display area then the mouse entered method will be invoked this particular method is responsible for that that is this mouse entered it will display a message saying that mouse has entered where it is displaying x coordinate 0 and y coordinate 10 specified coordinate it's displaying a message saying that mouse is entered when you take it out then it is a uh, mouse exited method is responsible for that what is that method here we have mouse exited whenever you take out the mouse then mouse exited message is being displayed where at x coordinate 0 and at y coordinate 10 then repaint method will be called to display it output graph. as you can see here is for every method is calling repaint that means whatever this applet is there it is continuously getting updated it is updating itself exit once mouse exited is there once you bring in the mouse it will say a message saying that mouse has entered that means again repaint method is called the window of the applet is redisplayed right now i will press the mouse if you can see i think you cannot see it but uh, i am pressing the mouse now once i press the mouse what it will give a message called down is being displayed that is mouse pressed method you can see this method just beside that i am keeping it mouse pressed whenever you press a mouse what happens get the coordinate values that is wherever you want you can press across the window if i press it here yes down is displayed here what it indicates down 
the mouse is clicked in the so and so x coordinate and so and so y coordinate and what is the string being displayed for our understanding purpose string being displayed is down you can give any as a string also that means now i am moving the mouse moving the mouse and parallelly mouse moving method is being called yes. now let us see the definition of mouse released what happens in case of mouse release i have pressed a mouse then down is there and immediately when i release up is being displayed and without giving time it is moving away the window is uh, re displaying so you may not be able to see the up here you may not be able to see the up within short time it will go away now let us see the mouse dragged event mouse dragged so this is what is mouse moving mode mouse moving as you can see here in the bottom of the status this is called as status bar in the status bar it is clearly showing what mouse is being moved at this so and so coordinate so i am going here these are the x coordinate and y coordinates of the mouse which are getting changed concentrate on these coordinate values these coordinate values are changing continuously what it will show where is the present location of the mouse on to this applet display area that this is possible only when the mouse has entered if you exit the mouse if the mouse is going out of the applet display area then mouse has exited then mouse has exited and moving of the mouse will stop once you bring it again inside then the moving will mouse moving will start mouse drag dragging means you have to press one button see here i have pressed the button now and down is displayed why because mouse is being dragged now when i press and move it continuously now i am dragging the mouse we can see the difference i have pressed one button and moving the mouse after pressing and move then you say you can see the message here in the status bar what it says dragging the mouse at so and so coordinate values we are dragging the mouse at so and so coordinate values if you are not pressing in your, now you can see the up message what it says button was pressed for the mouse now the button is released just uh, above the arrow mark you can see that up button up message mouse is released now again i am moving the mouse again i am moving the mouse i am clicking the mouse if you click the mouse mouse click the message will be so all these are the simple methods which will allow us to interact with the user mouse entered exited moving the mouse at so and so click the button down button down message is being displayed now i am dragging the mouse star is just used to differentiate we have given that in the code itself so it shows that dragging mouse at 12371 if i move it continuously these are because it is minute pixel coordinate value it is the coordinate value of the pixel that is how this mouse events are handled it is being shown in the status bar messages now ultimately when i close this the applet window will get closed this is how this is this was an example for graphical user interface so this was an example for graphical user interface and with the help of this graphical user interface we have uh, uh, specifically we have seen about how mouse can talk to the applet so basically will be now we'll be generating such graphical user this is the first example applet what we have created and it is having some set of options now within this applet only later we will be creating some text here we will be giving some message to the user will be giving some drop down menu all such graphical user interfaces we will be using in our day to day lives now we will be creating such graphical user interfaces in the remaining part of this module i'll stop the discussion here